there's going to be a slight change of plans and rather than going and pre-sorting the command console here what I'm going to do is confirm all the colors where they are and make sure they're all lighting the top red on the airlock there isn't so great that side of the fi the, the uh, airlock doesn't have any fiber optics yet so I'm going to do that as well it's all stuff that's been seen in other videos so confirm all the colors and then uh, I think next weekend's project is going to be sorting all this out. It's starting to get late in the afternoon and I've got a few things to do today, my only day off. There is some discrepancy going on. For example, on the uh, control panels on either side of the binocular thing there, there are four uh, sets of lights. There's this set of six reds which go up top and then there's two below it. Over here there are four sets of rows as well, but only the top three of them were cut for holes. The bottom row was not. So consequently I cannot light the bottom row, or I can shift them all up one row, and instead of two rows of red only have one, so in this case I'd have the two greens and a blue over there, and the Borg and the Wovroy over there. The top section is fine. Uh, the airlocks are going to work out well, so all this is uh, pretty easy so far. It's definitely been a long and a lot of work to get here. So yeah, there's actually a lot. Oh wow, so actually all of these colors here, all of these fibers go to some color somewhere. So I may actually run out real fast and maybe I should have gone with 10 millimeters to begin with. Dun 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 dun. A lot of these will be blinking, but I don't know if it's going to be that many. But just as there's inaccuracies over on that communication station of the wall, there's also inaccuracies in the command console, too, that I discovered a little earlier. There could be a lot more holes going on in that. So I don't want to get too ambitious today and bite off more than I can chew for the day because that's a lot of fiber optic right there. Alright, I'll try and keep my clunky hands out of frame, but I've confirmed these three reds, and I have now confirmed these two blues, and what I wanted to do is now trim them down, and it looks like I can go right about here as a first test cut. I want to make sure I don't get any else in there. and two blue this guy is unlabeled let's stick him into green and see what he is should be a possible red but I am going to move a lot of the reds around so what I've decided is it's more important to get the different the difference pattern rather than having six reds I'll go with three reds and then green blue and green there and those eight colors there so let's see what that green is and basically the whole process is going to be just flipping this over and over so this is in fact going to blue no all right so that side is wrong now I see getting really really close I did not put a fiber optic into every single hole and it looks like I missed drilling two of them don't know if I could drill those out now so it'll be faking it a little in this case blue is in the far right bottom corner so orange red and green are next after that and this other blue is in the bottom corner so it should switch with the green that's there now and that blue that's in there should go dark. So this green should turn into this blue. I've already got the red tucked in there. Actually, let's do it all fresh, I suppose. I trim these down a little more to get them all nice and even. 
So now we've got red in. Go for green. Blue wants to go next. And we've got two orange and one yellow. So there we go, the first official lights, all set in place. So I'm going to have to get used to the fact that this isn't really going to be as accurate as it possibly could be, whether it's the photo etch itself, which doesn't have the holes drilled where they should, or the quantity that should be there, or it's the fact that I didn't fiber optic another given hole or whatever it may be. Close enough is pretty much going to be good enough in this case. And in fact, given the distance involved here, when you're looking at it from a foot away or so, the reds and the oranges kind of get really close together. So I might just vary up the colors anyway, but go slightly. Maybe like, well, I've already cut them, so they're pretty much staying where they are. Never mind. But that's pretty close, and that is not too bad a thing in this case. The greens are much brighter than the blues or the reds. I'd say the blues are just about as bright as the reds. The yellow is the dimmest of all. It'd be nice to get some brighter light on that. Let's take a look and see if I can trim it 